Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big, not just one week, but every single week, no matter which sport you are betting on. So we are entering the time of year for NCAA men's basketball. Yes, it's that time already. And there are some nice matchups here for the first uh, week of the season. We're not really into any conference play yet. That happens later on. But we do have some nice games. And uh, if you look at the uh, little posts here that's going to be included with this uh, video, you will see uh, picks for the top 10 for this season, at least uh, at the start of the season, the top 10. Of course, that changes as the season goes along. But that is included as well. So let's get down to some of the picks. Uh, if you're not a member of the VIP club section, please join. You will have all these great tools I'm going to show you here to help uh, make your picks even easier. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of the games in store. For Friday, uh, uh, November the 9th. Uh, the first one I want to take a look at is Auburn at Davidson. If you look here at Auburn, they were... 11 and 7 in the SEC last year and 30 and 10 overall. Davidson was 14 and 4 in the Atlantic 10 and 25 and 8 overall. You see that Auburn entered burning hot down. Now, you notice that this year, the last five meetings, this all goes back to the end of last season, as does their status because nothing has been played yet. And you can see Davidson averaging. You can see what they did at the end of last season as well. If you look at the oscillator, Team strength loss where you see Davidson comes in average, Auburn comes in burning hot. Both of them are a little bit trending on the downward path. Um, you can see here I put the uh, little comment here about what I think of this game. And, and come back later on, you'll see other people posting comments as well. It might help you make your pick. As far as the power rankings right now, you can see that Auburn is at plus, or is, is 11th rather, and Davidson is over here, and they are at 147. As far as the uh, power rankings indicator goes, Auburn has a plus 100, is at plus 100, or excuse me, plus 412, and Davidson has at plus 304. So overall, I think that Auburn should have a relatively easy time of things against a more inferior opponent and come away with a win despite playing on the road. Now another matchup here I want to look at is Akron versus West Virginia. The Middle Atlantic Conference team, Akron, was just 9 and 10 in the conference last season, and they finished 17 and 16 overall. You see their ice cold down at the end of last season. You can see that they lost four of their last six games. West Virginia averaged down. They lost three out of their last six to end of last season. Um, as far as the power ranks concerned, you can see neither team is ranked very high. 220 for West Virginia, 319 for Akron. West Virginia struggled to just a 4 and 14 mark in the Big 12 Conference last season and 15 and 21 overall. If you look at the uh, oscillator here, you can see the oscillator shows where they're at here. Which I already mentioned average and average jump. You can see a little bit of the trend here. You can see West Virginia on a little bit of a downward trend, as is Akron. You can take a look at that. Overall, I think West Virginia is going to be the better team this year, and I look for them to get off to a win at home in the first game of the season. Some other matchups here. You can see a lot of these are matchups that probably aren't of great uh, national interest. Some of these are teams that aren't very good at the moment. Uh, we're going to scroll down here to get to some of these. Like Longwood at George Mason, not going to look at that one. Here's one, Loyola, Loyola Chicago at Furman. Uh, Loyola Chicago average down. They have won three out of their last six. Furman averaged down as well. Winners of three out of their last six to end the season last year. If you look at the oscillator, you can see average for Furman. And you can see average down for Loyola, Chicago. And you can see the downward trends by the way the graphs are going. If you look at uh, Furman as far as their rankings, there are 166. The power rankings, and they're a little bit higher than Loyola Chicago at 180. If you look at what happened a year ago, Loyola Chicago was 12 and 6 in the Missouri Valley Conference and 20 and 14 overall. Playing in the Southern Conference, Furman went 13 and 5, very nice, and 25 and 8 overall. So I think this will actually be a pretty close game. Furman is playing at home. I believe they should have the advantage there and earn the victory in this one, probably in a lower 
scoring and close game. Sacred Heart Connecticut is another game. St. Francis at Richmond. And here's the last game I want to take a look at for Friday. It's Northern Kentucky at Missouri. Northern Kentucky, you can see in their power rankings, they are 37th compared to 215th from Missouri. If you look at the oscillator, you can see right here they're pretty close as far as the point value goes. Missouri average and Northern Kentucky at burning hot down. See what they did at the end of last season. Uh, five out of their last six games were wins for Northern Kentucky. Missouri, three out of their last six games were wins. Northern Kentucky played in the Horizon League, and they went 13-5 their last season and 26-9 and overall. Missouri went 10-8 and in the SEC and 23-11 and overall. Um, as far as the power rankings indicator goes, Kentucky has a Northern Kentucky actually has a very big uh, plus 324 to plus 136 advantage. Missouri, though, plays in a much tougher conference in the SEC. I think that's going to be a decided factor. In general, they play tougher competition. And I think that they will have an edge. Playing at home, they'll take care of business on their home court, walk away with a win. And there you have it for the games for Friday, November the 9th, as we kick off, or I should say tip off, because we're talking about basketball, as we tip off the NCAA basketball season. So there you have it. Enjoy the games this weekend, and be sure to return to us next week for some more good advice and make your picks very good for you and profitable. Have a nice weekend.